Hey everyone, the purpose of this video today is to demonstrate our infection control and cleaning policy and procedure here at Shields Healthcare. As a reminder, employee safety, along with patient safety, is our top priority. Primarily, we're going to focus on the room cleaning that is mandatory between each and every patient we scan, but first we'll just briefly touch base on the cleaning procedure in the tech control area at the beginning and end of the shifts. So when we first come in in the morning and also at the end of the day, it's important that we wipe down our workstations. So this includes the scanner keyboard and mouse along with the daily tech PCs that we use. It's also important that we clean these before we turn them on at the beginning of the day and that we also wipe them down once the equipment is shut off. So now we're gonna go into the scan room. Um, the first thing we wanna do is, you know, we'll foam in and we'll foam out and then we're gonna put gloves on. So in this example here, we just finished scanning a patient for a brain scan. So we're gonna remove the coil and the pads and we're gonna start our cleaning with the actual inside of the bore. So we're going to Again, just remove everything off the table and then we'll clean that later on. And we're going to use the wand and pad system that we have. And then we're also gonna use the appropriate cleaning spray. So we're gonna make sure that we get that nice and wet and then we're gonna clean the inside of the board and make sure that we get all surfaces that the patient could potentially have touched. We're just going to go to the opposite end of the board and we're just going to clean it from that side as well. And the reason that we want to start with the inside of the bore is just so we have proper time for it to dry. And then we want to make sure that we dispose of the pad properly. And next we're going to move on to the cleaning of the actual table. Um, so we're going to use the appropriate wipes. And while we all know wipes are hard to come by, it's still important that we make sure that we are cleaning properly and making sure that the pads and the table and all of our cushions are getting um, wet enough that way they're truly disinfecting. And again, the reason that we want to start with the bore and then also the table and the pads is that way it has time to truly disinfect and dry before we set up for that next patient. And again, just making sure that we get all surfaces that the patient potentially could have come in contact with. And then once we're done with the table and while it's drying, we're now going to use the cleaning wipes to disinfect the coils and then also any cushions or pads, um, again, that may have come in contact with the patient. So in that case there, we have the head cushion um, that we do cover with a bouffant. So we've removed the bouffant and we're just gonna wipe that down and allow it to dry before we put another one on. Okay, 
And just making sure that we clean the cushions that go alongside the board so patient's arms don't touch, and then also the leg cushion. We just want to make sure that we're not putting anything on the floor. Um, so now that we've disinfected um, all the cushions, coils, and pads, at this time we're going to do the headphones and then the emergency call ball. And then while that's drying, we just want to make sure that the coils and or the um, that the cords to the headphones and the emergency call ball that they don't touch the floor. We have little clips here that we just kind of rest everything right on so it doesn't hang. And now that those are drying and everything's clean, we are going to set up for the next procedure that we have. And in this case, it's a lumbar scan for us. So the table's now dry, so we're gonna put a sheet and then we're also going to put the pillow on. And we're just putting away all the equipment that we used for the previous patient so nothing's left out on the counters. And we're going to put those arm cushions back. And then now that the headphones and everything are dry, um, we're just going to do a quick wipe down of the counters real quick here and then the door handles, handles as well. Last thing that we're going to do is we're just going to put those headphone covers on and then we should be ready for that next patient. And that is our demonstration of the proper cleaning policy and procedure of the room.